So what's up guys, this is Josiah from We Talk Maple and this is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. This is the leveling guide. Yes! For any class. Any class can use this leveling guide and that is what's awesome about it. Um, what you're looking at right now, this is the main menu. Um, from, from here you can go and click on any one of these annotations and it will take you to a spot in the video where it shows you where to train at that level. Um, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. I put a lot of work into it, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so level 10 to 20, you're going to want to come to the Blue Ribbon Pigs. Uh, they're right near Natala, I don't know. It's the pirate place. It's near the pirate, the pirate town. And um, you can train it from level 10 to... Most people say 10 to 18. I'm going to say 10 to 19. And then you're going to click on... You're going to go to your home, your home base and uh, talk to your job instructor and they will give you a quest to do um, to do your helmet quest thing and that will level you up older level 20 ish 21 and uh, that's awesome and, it, and you also get an awesome helmet so yeah a good alternative from um, the blue ribbon pigs if you're lucky enough uh, to be a resistance character then you can come all the way here and train on these signs or just keep going right and training on harder and harder um, monsters until level 20 um, if you're if if you're lucky enough to also be in an event period like I am um, you might be getting a hyper teleport rock so you can teleport here if you made a new character and train here to level 18 from level 20 to 30 these two maps are gonna be amazing this one the ice mixed golem things um, these things are awesome. You can train on them older level 30, but I don't recommend it. I recommend training here for about like two or three level, maybe maybe even four levels, and um, like t t 25 or 24. And um, these things drop a lot of white potions. Pick them up because they don't drop just one white potion at a time. They drop like four or five, even eight sometimes if it's a uh, double drop. And uh, that will, if you're not funded, that will help a lot. And then if you go to the next map, which is the red golems, uh, they drop a lot of MP potions, which is which are uh, insanely helpful. And again, you don't have to pay for potions, which is freaking amazing. From level 30 to 38, after you've done your job advancement, or maybe even 36, but um, you really don't have any options. Just come here, and uh, this is Mushroom Kingdom, and just do the quest. You'll get the a little quest thing will come up on the left hand left hand side of your screen or you can talk to your job instructor and uh he'll heal or she'll <laughs> uh teleport you here. Level thirty eight to forty five is gonna be fun. You're gonna come here and get KS like a boss. You're gonna come here and get KS a lot. This is the C D map in Kerning uh, Square and um it's really good pretty good experience but there's a lot of KS so just be aware of that because it's going to be hell. It's going to be hell. I'm telling you right now. Uh, 30, 38 to 35. Blah, 38 to 45 uh, alternative is to talk to this dude. Tell him that you, Blake sent you or something. And come in here and uh, just train. It's the same. It's pretty much the same mob. I don't know why there's nothing here right now. It took a while to spawn for some reason. But uh, it's pretty much the same spawn except they, there's these stereos. And uh, same with the next map over here. Um, there's These ones are a little bit harder. But pretty much the same uh, same thing and if you go to the last last room um, which is the next one over there is a uh, there's a boss that takes forever to kill don't waste your time it's not worth it from 45 to 55 you can come to scarecrows which are amazing there's a lot of chaosers here too so I don't know I, I'm just really lucky I don't know why uh, no one's here right now but there are usually a lot of chaosers and if you're a cleric you can come right in the middle where I'm standing now and uh, just press heal and you'll hit everything on all the platforms um, also um, you might you can come here the 45 or 40 or 50 uh, depending on your funding in your class but uh, if you're a crappy class like me or if you're really good like a cleric you might want to stay here for a little bit longer so 55 all the way to 70 you might want to come to this room uh, this is one of many gestures room this is my favorite though um, if you're a crappy class like a warrior or something you might want to stay in here instead of going to the main gestures room just because it's a little hard and uh, you're gonna get kill stolen a lot um, if you're a cleric then you could stay in here and you can like pretty much leave at level 60 uh, or if you're like a high casting class like dual blade and stuff you can probably go and uh, make it in the gesture the official gesture map. 
So 70 to 80, you're going to come to the main gestures room, which is this one here. And it's pretty awesome. Uh, sometimes it can be a lot of KSers. Uh, right now there's not, so yeah. Um, so yeah, 70 to 80 is pretty, it's pretty fun. Uh, pretty good spawn. It's hard to navigate if you're a warrior. That's why I would suggest staying in the other room uh, to level 80, which is kind of, kind of hard and really boring, but uh, you might find it a little easier because that's what I, I don't know. That's what I did. Alright, so level 80 to 70 is the dangerous and kill stealing heaven that is MP3. Um, this map has an incredible spawn. It's crazy, crazy spawn. Gives less EXP per kill than gestures, but the spawn is so good that it makes up for that. And as you can see, look at this spawn, it's amazing. Um, also, if you're a ranged class, you can kind of snipe on top of this, uh, the Hummer at the bottom of the map. Uh, if not, uh, you probably, you could probably stay in the, I would recommend staying on the middle platform. And if there's a lot of people on the map, share it, share it. Just go in and ask if you can have a platform. Don't, don't try to kill steel because, just don't, because it's douchey. Don't do that. Don't, don't kill steel. So a nice alternative from the crazy, crazy MP3 is to come here to Anchors. Um, Anchors is a decent map. It, they do a little bit more damage than um, the monsters in MP3, but they do give uh, a little bit more experience, and the map is not the best spawn, but if there's a lot of chaosers or it's a 2x event, um, you're, you're, you, you'll usually find a spot here, and it's not too bad. Also, a nice alternative is Gallows. Um, Gallows it's really bad since they patched it, but still, it's not completely useless. And again, if there's two X event and even anchors are taken, then I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't uh, say, n I wouldn't say not to go to Gallows if that made any sense at all. <laughs> so level 100 to 110, you really just want to stay at MP3, but because it's so boring and you're already there for like 20 levels. Um, I would recommend coming to Romeo and Juliet PQ and then grinding on this stage until around like five minutes and then finish the PQ. That's what I did um, from level like 105 to 110 because that's when I figured it out. But uh, yeah, I, I like this a lot better than uh, MP3 mainly because you've been there for so long and you really do, you just want something new because it's boring. It's, it's just boring. Alright, so from level 110 to like level... Um, 120, 130, you're going to come to Crockies. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage, so I'm giving you footage of Annie, but yeah, you're going to want to come to Crockies, and uh, you're going to train here at LHC, well, not here, but at Crockies, uh, for, until like level 120, 130, uh, depending on your funding and depending on uh, how comfortable you are about moving on. Alright, so from level 120 all the way to like 130-ish, or not, or 120 to 130 uh, to like 170, um, you're going to, or maybe even one, or 165, you're going to want to come to Bears. Bears are pretty much the same thing in Crockies. You can still stay at Crockies if you want, or if you can't find a Bears party, but uh, Bears are better, and if you have, uh, if you're stronger, then it would do, it will help a lot more, and you'll get a lot ex more experience a lot faster. Um, also, it helps if you're in a guild. If you're not in a guild, you're going to have the worst time finding a party. It's, it's just going to come down to luck, and it's going to suck. So don't, don't, don't let it come down to luck. Join a guild, uh, preferably a high-level guild, right? And um, you pretty much always have an LHC party and or the next spot that I'll show you. Alright, so level 170 to 200. This is it. This is the final training spot, and it's going to take a long time. You're going to come to Knight's Stronghold, stronghold and uh, this is not the map you want to train on. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find a party, and this is footage from a while ago. Um, right now, if you guys, you guys noticed, during the earlier parts of the video, 170, and um, I can get into the, the next part, which is the next map over. And um, basically, this is this is it. This is the end game. This is it. This is what you're, play this is what you're training at. And uh, this is a lot better experience than bears and crockies and stuff. Um, so, yeah, you're going to train here all the way to level 200, and it's going to be boring, so get some good music, or have the TV blasting in the background, or something, I don't know, but it's going to suck, so uh, just get ready. And also, it's a, it's pretty much of a pot drain, too, so so buckle down and make some money and just, just go hard. Alright, guys, so that's, that's it. You're level 200. Hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I, it, 
really, it was a lot of work to make. Um, not as much as I thought it would be, but it's still a lot. That's why I kind of put it off. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so these are these are the last two videos of mine. Um, if you're new here, um, this is kind of like what I do on all of my videos. I have this little ending credit. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> last two videos here are the one on the top here is uh, me training at uh, I think it's Barrows, is it? Yes, Barrows. And I'm oh no, sorry, it's not Barrows. Um, it's ta I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, it's a quick tip on how never to use use bleh, MP potions uh, again in Maple Story. Uh, video underneath that is a um, just me ranting about Nexon and how their support sucks. Yeah, a <laughs> uh, little button thing in the middle where it says level zero zero. Um, that is a link to the last episode or the newest episode of our kind of podcast. We do whenever we want, kind of now because <laughs> um, it's kind of hard to stick to the set schedule, uh, especially with all this schoolwork and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so that's that will bring you to the next episode. If you guys have any topics or you want any, you want us to talk about anything on it, just uh, send me something on Facebook, Twitter, uh, or even comment on a video, and we'll try to get around to it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Links to Facebook, Twitter, in the description. Uh, click the subscribe button to subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It was a lot of work. I appreciate the share. Anything, anything you guys want, share, like, comment. Um, anyways, guys, yeah, have a nice day. Peace.